It's 17 days until Election Day, two and a half weeks until November 5th. Georgia's early voting numbers are making national headlines. Of the 7.2 million Georgia voters registered, more than 1 million voted early. That is a 15% voter turnout so far in just four days. And it's about one fifth of all people who voted in 2020, Carly. All right, well, Blair, Atlanta News First shows you who showed up week one of early voting. Women leading the charge here. As you can see, with 55% of overall early turnout, that is 581,000 votes. Now, men, they make up 45% of the overall early voting turnout. That is 477,000 votes. Georgia's LGBTQ plus community also showing up early with nearly 2,500 votes so far. So our older generations are also showing up strong. People ages 65 to 69 are number one here with more than 157,000 ballots cast. Closely behind them are groups ages 60 to 64 and 70 to 74 with a combined 290,000 plus votes. But then there are the absentee voters. 58,000 ballots accepted in week one. But tonight, some voters are worried about disappearing ballot drop boxes and postal service delays. Atlanta News First political reporter Doug Reardon is live tonight at the Gardner Library on Ponce de Leon Avenue. And Doug, some absentee voters are pretty nervous about this. Yeah, and I mean, they have good reason to be because of those USPS mail delays. They could very well miss that November 5th deadline on Election Day to have their ballots back if they don't start mailing no soon. On top of the fact that legislation passed in 2021 got rid of a lot of drop boxes for absentee ballots around here. In fact, you're going to hear from one voter that we talked to today who used to drop hers off right here but can do that this year and has to drive it pretty good ways to get it back to where it needs to go. It's all just making it a little bit more to think about this time around. Bring in some consternation. When voter Rebecca Flynn came here to Garner Library to drop off her absentee ballot this week, there was no drop box. It wasn't in the same location. The place she left her ballot in 2020 was gone. It was the casualty of new legislation passed in 2021 that cut down on the number of drop boxes in Georgia and moved them inside. The closest one was in Buckhead, and it was 25 minutes away. Poll workers were nice enough to tell Flynn she could always mail it with USPS, but... I asked if they'd recommend that, and they said, it's up to you, but I wouldn't do it. With the post office experiencing delays, especially in Georgia, lawmakers and post office officials have been warning for months that ballot delays were a real possibility. With something so important as my vote, I don't want anything to happen to it, so I didn't want to take any chances. If you drop it into the mail now, there's a middleman introduced into the process. The DeKalb County Board of Elections and their vice chair, Vasu Abi Rahman, are cutting out that middleman, whether it be the Postal Service or ballot drop boxes. Last week, they approved a program that will let absentee voters drop off their ballots directly to poll workers at any early voting precinct, whether or not it has a drop box. That means the next person that's going to touch your ballot is not the United States Postal Service. It's somebody with our elections office, so you can be confident that your vote's going to count. Yeah, Cobb and Gwinnett counties, they also have similar drop box programs that were approved even before this election cycle. As you guys mentioned, about 60,000 of absentee ballots requested here in Georgia out of the 200,000 that have been requested have already been returned. So we're not talking about a small amount of votes here. Live in Virginia Highlands, Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.